Pandango sa ilaw. Pandango is a Philippine province which has become popular in the rural areas of the Philippines. The stand evolved from Pandango, a Spanish rock dance which arrived in the Philippines during the Hispanic period. The dance is accompanied by castanets. The stands, together with Jota, become popular among illustrators or the upper class and later adopted among the local communities. In the early 18th century, any dance that is considered jovial and lively was called pandango. The word pandango is derived from the Spanish word fandango, which is also a popular dance in Portugal. Similar to the original fandango folk dance, pandango si ila requires excellent balance in incorporate clapping and lively step dance in a three fourth beat. The light refers three oil lamps that the woman dancers balance on the hand at and the each at the back of each hand. Candles in clear glasses have long replaced the oil lamps. Pandanga si ilaw is usually danced in couples with both the woman and the man wearing traditional dresses. So next is Pandango sa ilaw. So what is Pandango sa ilaw? Pandango sa ilaw which translates as dance of lights is a waltz style playful folk dance that showcases a unique fusion of local and western indigenous dance forms originating in Lubang Island, Mindoro in the Philippines and it is usually performed during festivities and special occasions. Hello guys, I'm Jasper Dinopol and I'm going to report to you the Pandango Oasiwas. Okay, let's start. So the Pandango Wasiwas or Pantomina Wasiwas is similar to light and usually performed by fishermen to celebrate a good catch. So as you can see, uh, the similarities between Pandango sa ilaw and Pandango Wasiwas is they use lights. But in this version of Pandango Wasiwas is the lamps are placed in cloths or nets and swung while the dancers circling and sway. So let's take a look in the picture to see the differences between Pandango sa and Pandango sa Oasis. As we take a look in the picture, you can see that all boys in Pandango Oasis are using lamps that are placed in cloths or nets, while the girls are using lights only. So you can see the boys with Pandango sa ilaw is using the lights as well as uh, all girls. Let's move on to the definition of Pandango Wasiwas. So, Pandango Wasiwas is a Spanish Pandango with its origin coming from the fishing town of Lingayen in Pangasinan. As we all know, Pangasinan is one of all the best tourist spots here in the Philippines. For example, the 100 Islands Resort, the 100 Islands National Park, and the 101 Islands in Pangasinan, which is can be seen in Alaminu City. Following the good catch, the fishermen will usually celebrate by drinking and dancing and by swinging and circling with the lighted lamps on the hand of the dancers. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, kapag ang mga fishermen daw ay maganda yung kuha ng isda nila or maganda yung quality na kuha nila is uh, nagsiselebrate sila ng pandango o siwas which is umiinom sila ng mga wine and they dance uh, with the use of lighted lamps and their hands of the dancers the graceful and lively moods of the dancers gave the name Oasiwas which in the local dialect is known as swinging so yung uh, masiglang galaw or yung paano sila masayang sumasayaw yun ang nabigay ng pangalang Huasiwas, which uh, tinatawag itong swinging sa kanilang local dialect. Yung pagsusway, yun ito. Swing. So, let's take a look 
in a short video I have presented to uh, to see more info. That's all. Thank you. By the way, my name is John Vince Angubalani and I'm from the group 2 and I was assigned to report the Pandango sa Sambadilio. Um, Pandango is a folk dance which has become popular in the rural areas of the Philippines. The, uh, the dance evolved from Pandango, a Spanish folk dance which arrived in the Philippines during the Hispanic period. So, it's very clear that Pandango is not from the Philippines, uh, it's not origina uh, originated from the Philippines, uh, it came from uh, Spain, the uh, Hispanic people brought uh, Pandango, okay, in the Philippines. This dance, together with the Juta, became popular among the Ilustrados or illustrators guys is the upper class and those uh, generation illustrators is the upper class and and local and later adopted among the local communities in the early 18th century uh, any dance that is considered jovial and lively was called pandango so uh, pandango is not uh, like tinikling or something uh, juta na Mona na siya ang ginatawag na or specific din siya na kara, kara siya na, na dance step is Juta. Ang Pandango in 18th century is those dances that love a lively, joyful, uh, they call it Pandango. There are many versions of this dance in each locali uh, locality has its own version. Local dancers have many ways of doing the Pandango. But there is one thing in common between different versions. I I I understand that each uh, local dancers or each regions that um, doing this dance have their own version. Uh, this version called Pandango sa Sambalillo is a very interesting courtship dance from Camiling uh, Tarla involving a hat. So Pandango sa Sambalillo is a courtship dance. Uh, usually boys back then is uh, using this uh, pan, uh, using the pandango sambaliyo to create a uh, woman and uh, usually this dance uh, used in kamiling tarla involving hat the is yan yung uh, yan yung uh, props nila and those people back then in 18th century they are the only one that can um, explain why <laughs> your classification courtship uh, usually uh, so uh, those people that wouldn't know Tarla is located in uh, Central Luzon and we're talking now uh, the props of uh, uh, Pandango sa Sambalillo uh, white Bremen Bori hat Sambalillo Balangot or Sombrero uh, Sombrero is a common word for us here so it's very understandable sombrero guys but a uh, music provided by string and symbol called rondalia and uh, mood jovial uh, jovial am i pronounce it correctly playful sprightly flirty uh playful uh because it's a dance women's boys and girls by pair and also it can be performed by one girl four to six boys so 
I think that is one of the reason why this uh, <laughs> this um, pandango sa sambalilyo called flirty uh, dance it because only one girl and surrounded by uh, 46 boys. The costume is called balintawak, abarong, or kasamisa, chino, and colored pants, sambalilyo, barefooted, or sandals. And that is the sambalilyo uh, I mean pandango sa sambalilyo and thank you so much for listening guys and have a great day hello guys good day so we will tackle about the dances of pandango so one of the dances of pandango is the carinyasa the Carinosa dance was originated in Panay Island in the Visayan Islands and was introduced by the Spaniards during their colonization of the Philippines. So ang sayaw na ito ay nagmula sa Panay Islands, sa Visayan Islands at ipinakilala ng mga Kastila noong panahon na kanila kolonisasyon sa Pilipinas. Ito ay nag-uugnay sa ilan sa mga Espanyol na sayaw tulad ng Bolero at ang Mexican na sayaw na Harabi Tapasyo o ang Mexican Hat Dance. Cariñoso dance means loving or affectionate o ang tinatawag na sayaw na mapagmahal. Ang cariñosa ay isa sa mga uri ng katutubong sayaw para sa panliligaw. Maaari mong isipin na karamihan sa mga katutubong sayaw ng Pilipinas ay kinabibilangan ng mga babaeng karakter na may mahiyain at personalidad na Maria Clara. Bagamat, totoo, ang sayaw ng cariñosa ay isang sayaw ng kulturang Pilipino na ginawa para pang-aakit kaya isa itong sayaw na panliligaw sa Pilipinas. Gaya nga ng sabi ko, itong sayaw ay nagmula sa panahon ng kolonyal mula sa Maria Clara suit ng mga katutubong sayaw sa Pilipinas, kung saan ang pamaypay o panyo ay gumaganap ng isang instrumental na papel habang inilalagay ang mag-asawa sa senaryo ng pag-iibigan. Ang mga mananayaw ay gumagawa ng ilang mga malalanding galaw habang sila ay sumisilip sa isa't isa sa likod ng mga tagahanga o mga panyo. Sa original, ang karinyosa ay isinayaw na may Maria Clara gown at barong Tagalog dahil ito ay isang Maria Clara Spanish dance noong ito ay pinakilala. Dagdag pa rito, isinuot ng Filipino ang patad John Kimuna at Kamesa de Chino upang ihayag ang nasyonalismo, isang katutubong damit ng mga rehiyong Tagalog. Kamesa, isang puting manggas o patad John Kimuna, isang damit ng mga Bisaya. At para sa mga lalaki, isang barong Tagalog at may kulay na pantalon. Dahil ito ang pambansang sayaw, ang mga mananayaw ay maaaring magsuot na anumang kasuotang Pilipino. Gayun pa man, ang sayaw na ito ay naging popular sa mga Pilipino. Sa makaisaysayang mga pinagmula na itinayo noong panahon ng kolonisasyon ng mga Espanyol, ang karinyosa ay napapakita ng malalim na Hispanic na impluensya sa kultura ng Pilipinas. Ang sayaw na ito ay naglalantad sa mga mag-aaral, hindi lamang sa kultura ng halaga na nag-uugnay sa panliligaw, kundi pati rin sa isa sa pinakaminamahal ng bansang sayaw ng Pilipinas. So that's it for Karinyo sa dance at salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Magandang araw sa lahat. Good day everyone! I am going to tackle about the pandango sa ilaw or the dance with light. So, ang pandango sa ilaw or dance with light ay isang cultural na sayaw ng Pilipinas na naging popular sa mga rural na lugar sa bansa. Ang sayaw na ito ay nagsimula sa sayaw na fandango, katutubong sayaw ng mga Espanyol na dumating sa Pilipinas sa panuhon ng mga Kastila. Ang sayaw na ito ay naging sikat sa mga ilustrados noon at sa kalaunan ay naging tanyag na rin sa lokal na komunidad. Sa unang bahagi na ikalabing walong siglo, ang anumang mga sayaw na itinuturing na masigla at buhay na buhay ay tinatawag na fandango. So, ang pandonggo sa ilaw ay sinasabing nagsimula sa Mindoro, ang ikapitong pinakamalaking isla sa Pilipinas. Ang sayaw ng mga ilaw ay naghahalin tulad sa mga litap-tap sa dapit hapon at sa gabi. Ang pandango sa ilaw ay siyang pinakamahirap sa lahat ng pandanggos. Ito ay makulay at hindi pang karaniwan dahil ang babaeng mananayaw ay may tatlong lampara o tinghoy. Oil lamp kung sa English. 
isa sa ulo at dalawa sa likod ng bawat kamay. Ang partikular na pandanggong ito ay nangangailangan ng kasanayan sa pagbabalansi ng tatlong tinghoy. Ito ay nailalarawan sa pamamagitan ng masisiglang mga hakbang at palakpakan. Ang mananayaw ng pandanggo ay tinatawag na pandagera. There are two of the most popular versions of pandanggo as a performing art are the pandango sa ilaw from Mindoro and the Osias of Pangasinan. Then the, pa- the Philippine national dance, Karin Yoza, has pandango as its base dance. And then, pandango is still danced by many people but mostly in religious rituals and processions, such as the pandanguhan sa Pasig during the procession of St. Martha and the sayaw sa Obando of Bulacan. Pandango sa ilaw is very popular dance in the Philippines, just like the Festival of Kalapan Oriental Mindoro, called Pandang Gitab, was coined from Pandango and the Gitab, which is synonymous to light, adopting basic steps of Pandango sa ilaw. May mga props tayong gagamitin sa pagsasayaw ng Pandango sa ilaw. Ito ay three oil lumps or Tinghoy. Sometimes candle and glasses are used instead of an oil lamp. At sa pagsasayo ng pandango sa ilaw, may kailangan talaga tayong moods or jovial. Kung alam natin na ang sayaw is pang masaya, so kailangan din ang facial expression natin is masaya. Dapat palaging nakangiti like this. Oh, di ba? Dapat hindi nakasimangot. At saka sa pagsasayaw din ng pandango sa ilaw ay kailangan may proper stance or erect. Dahil may kailangan tayong babalansin na kandila. At saka kapag hindi ka sanay sa pagsasayo ng pandango sa ilaw, may tendency talaga na malaglag yung mga kandila na pinagbabalansi mo sa dalawang kamay at saka sa ulo. And then, so performers, kailangan talaga na couples. Hindi talaga yung single lang yung magperform, yung walang pares. Kailangan talaga may pares. My Paris chart. And then, so formation, so, nasa atin na lang yun kung ano ang formation na gusto natin gawin. Dahil may tinatawag tayong choreography. Para doon natin malalaman kung gaano talaga kaganda yung sayaw natin through, through formation. At saka, sa so formation din, napakahalaga it, ito sa mga performers para malalaman nila kung gaano kalag ka kalayo yung mga distance nila para hindi sila magbabanggaan. Sa pagsasayaw, kailangan talaga ng music. Walang sayaw na walang music. And ang music ng pandango sa ilaw is the rondala music to which the pandango sa ilaw is now commonly danced when composed by Colony Anthony R. Venaventura, a national artist for music. He wrote the music sometimes in the early 1930s while teaching at the Conservatory of Music at the University of the Philippines. At meron din tayong time signature dito sa pandango sa ilaw, which is the three fourth beats. Sa pagsasayo ng pandango sa ilaw ay may mga costume tayong nagagamitin. Para sa mga girls, ito ang balintawak isen ball consisting of a plain barrow or blouse with butterfly sleeves and matching balloon cap saya or long skirt. And then, stripe rectangular tapis wrap over skirt and matching a lampay or scarf drop on na one shoulder. At para naman sa mga boys, meron din tayong kamisa chino or colorless shirt of printed materials usually play pairs with colored red or blue. And then, or play pantalon pants road to the calves. And then, meron din tayong panyo. Kailangan itong panyo sa pagsasayo ng fuck dance na ito ay kailangan. At saka sa pandango sa ilaw, meron tayong kulay. Ito ang red of blue panyo. Then, sa, pa- sa mga performers or dancers, hindi sila na, sa dito sa pandango sa ilaw, hindi sila gumagamit ng sapatos or sandals. Dapat talagang nakapaa sila sa pagperform. Good day everyone! I am Jessamay M. Carbonell. And now, I am discussing to you the other dances of our topic. This topic is all about flamenco. Um, flamenco is a genuine Spanish art form, um, or to be more exact, a Southern Spanish art form. Flamenco has three branches of four. First is the cante, which is the song. And second is the baile, 
which is the dance. And last is toke, which is the guitar playing. And flamenco evolved into its definitive form in the numer um, numerous cafes cantantes, which is or to be called music cafes of the era, where singers and dancers are working together and influencing each other. So this flamenco reflects many influences such as different um, types of music, in including jazz, salsa, and um, bossa nova, oh, yeah. and has incorporated um, instrumental from other cultural transformations. And the transformation flamenco has undergone throughout its history in the modern musical movements such as rock, pop, and blues. And that's all the topic under flamenco. Thank you! Good day everyone! I am Rhea Draga and now we were talking about who are those people involved in Pandango sa Ilaw or Dance of Life. The music to which the Pandango sa Ilaw is now commonly danced was composed by Colonel Antonino Arbrena Ventura. So, si Colonel Antonino Arbrena Ventura pala ang nag-compose ng music ng Pandango sa Ilaw. He is a national artist for music as well as a professor and a native of Bulacan. He wrote the music sometime in the early 1930s while teaching at the Conservatory of Music at the University of the Philippines. Lyrics by Livy Silerio arranged and conducted by Nick Ramiro Passis. So, that's it. And now, we are done discussing about who is the composer of Pandango Sa Ilaw. Miss Rachel Joy will give us a discussion about who is Colonel Antonino R. Buenaventura. Thank you, Miss Rhea. Once again, good day. I am Miss Rachel Joy. And for today's topic, I am going to discuss who is Colonel Antonino R. Buenaventura. Let's start. Antonino Buenaventura was born on May 4, 1904 in Baliwag, Bulacan. He was born in a family of musicians. His father, Lucino Benaventura, was a musician at the Spanish of Artillery Band in Inchamoros. He studied under Nicanor Abelardo at the University of the Philippines Delman Conservatory of Music and graduated in 1932 with a teacher's diploma in music, major in science and composition, and became an assistant instructor at the conservatory. He also studied composition for a postgraduate degree under Gino Taka. After the war, he became conductor of the devastated Philippine Constabulary Band for 16 years and he brought it back to its former glory. He became the music director of the USC Conservatory of Music in 1961 and the U.S. School of Music and Arts in 1964. He married the violinist Rosalina X. Conde and produced four children. Buenaventura's music was influenced by different ethnic Philippine folk songs. In 1935, he joined Francesca Reyes Aquino in researching Philippine folk songs and dances. In 1936, 
He composed the accompaniment to the folk dance Pandango sa Ilaw and incorporated ethnic melodies and instruments to some of his compositions. And that is all about Antonina R. Benaventura.